and under this first of all we will need to find the view of the district spinner we are going to use it in the same way we did earlier then we will obtain the name of the state which was selected So for that we will use get selected item then dot to string so that it is converted to string since selected state is a string variable then just let's define our parent id integer variable then parent dot get id so that we can get the id of the parent and the parent here is the state spinner then we will just use the if else statement to verify if the IDs are same or not this is just for verification then under this we are going to use the switch case and uh, we will use the selected state here so that our switch case will work according to the state which was selected so the first case will be select your district which is the default text in the list so in this case we want the district adapter to be populated with our default text which is select your district so array adapter dot create from resource now here we cannot write this instead we have to get the context of the parent since we are since we are within the spinners so we simply cannot just use this keyword here so to get the context here we are going to use parent dot get context then the name of the array that is r dot array dot array underscore default underscore districts here we are just going to define select your district as the string then we need to specify the layout this layout we have already created so we can just simply go ahead and use it now let's get into the string resource file we will create another string array and this one is the array underscore default underscore districts and the item under this will be select your district Then after every switch case we have to use break and we have to use a default case also so let's just define it now the rest of the cases we will define one by one but just to just to check whether everything is working or not we are just going to get out of the switch case and then set the adapter to the district spinner so that we can see if the district spinner is working or not All right, then restart your app. No, I think something is missing. Okay, so here is the problem. When we were finding the view for the district spinner, I have given the ID of the spinner of the states, that is spinner underscore Indian underscore states. So we have to change this. I don't know if you have made the same mistake. But here I'm going to write spinner underscore Indian underscore districts then restart your app and you can see that and now the by default select your state is there and select your district is there so anyways everything is fine till now now we have to define more string array for each state which means we have to define the name of the districts according to their states I have already saved this also so I'm just going to copy and paste as you can see and for you you can just download the file 
from the description of this video and copy and paste it. You can see we have the districts for different states. Now coming back to the main activity class. Now here we need to define the case for each states. Let's say second case is Andhra Pradesh and also make sure that you do not make any mistake while writing the strings otherwise your app won't work or otherwise your spinner will not work and from here we can just copy this entire district adapter and then change the name of the array to array underscore Andhra underscore Pradesh underscore districts now let's restart the app All right, then from the list, I'll just select Andhra Pradesh. And as you can see, the second spinner is populated with the names of the districts which belong to this state. Anyways, now I'm going to define for the rest of the states. So I'll do it quickly, but you can take your time and define for each state, or you can just download the code from the description of this video. Then I'll just restart the app. And as you can see, on selecting any state, the districts which belong to that state are displayed. I'll just increase the text size or the font size of the spinner from the spinner layout resource file. All right. Now let's just obtain the name of the district which was selected from the list. For that we are going to use the set on item selected listener with the district spinner. And under the on item selected, we just need to op obtain the name of the district using get selected item. Then dot to string to convert it to string. Alright.